Since Ollie was nine, he's it's, had it's mental health like, problems. I was going mad inside, literally. It was like being inside a prison in your head um, not long ago. He wasn't diagnosed until some 15 years later. In that period, he tried to take his life four times. Then I, that was the best thing to do in my eyes and it, I, I was a burden to everyone else. Today the Prime Minister unveiled new support for mental health with a special emphasis on young people like Ollie. The burning injustice of mental health and inadequate treatment that demands a new approach from government and society as a whole. This starts with ensuring that children and teenagers get the help and support they need and deserve. Because we know that mental illness too often starts in childhood and that when left untreated it can blight lives and become entrenched. The Prime Minister announced mental health first aid training will be offered to secondary schools and a strengthening of links between schools and their local NHS because, she said, the costs of doing nothing were too much. The economic and social cost of mental illness is £105 billion, roughly the same as we spend on the NHS in its entirety. Last year, David Cameron announced a plan to spend around a billion pounds on mental health care over five years. Today, only added an extra 15 million pounds. That may be small, but more significantly, the Prime Minister promised to monitor all mental health funding for services. That's after almost two-thirds of NHS commissioning groups in England admitted they are likely to raid mental health budgets to pay for general care. Essentially, without additional funding, we are talking about changes at the fringe, we're not talking about the substantive change that the Prime Minister has promised. Many wanted new money as well as new policies. When you're losing the will to live, you don't want to be waiting then f to be put to the wrong person or, or them persons to not be have the funding for you, you know? And did that happen to you? Yeah, that's happened to me, yeah. I'm still, I've, still, I've still not had any therapy. It was hard. But perhaps today, like, another step say, taken so to stop future like young adults going undiagnosed. Allegra Stratton, News at 10. Um, so.